Moving on now, the Global Amnesty Watch has called on the federal government to prosecute and convict those guilty of aiding and abetting Boko Haram terrorist activities in the Northeast. The group I was speaking at the launch of its report says there is a need to make those who have supported terrorist activities in the country an example to serve as a deterrent for others. The country representative of the watch, Terence Konum, also added that interagency collaboration among security agencies to aid in the sharing of intelligence information is crucial. After an extensive analysis of the state of affairs of the country with regards to the prosecution of the war against Boko Haram insurgency and other criminal activities, the following recommendations are made. One, that the relevant stakeholders in Nigeria must continue to render support to the efforts of the federal government towards addressing the pockets of security issues in the country. Two, that the task of achieving a peaceful and united Nigeria is not for the federal government alone, as all hands must be on deck. Three, the political leadership of the various states in the country must dutifully align themselves with the working solutions and not promote divisions along ethnic and religious lines. Four, the various security agencies must continue to promote credible intel on the activities of criminal gangs in the country and sharing same in a process that will not compromise the system. Five, that the civil police and the secret agency must continue to work assiduously towards the restoration of law and order in the country. Six, that the government must begin the process of identifying and processing those found guilty of aiding and abetting the activities of terrorists and military groups in the country. Seven, and finally, that the government of Borno State must come to the table by taxing all stakeholders in the, in the state to proffer solutions that would assist the armed forces in dislodging the, uh, the remnants of Boko Haram insurgents. Uh, perpetrating violence in Borunusi.